You've probably seen Sebastian Vettel's PR manager, Britta Ruska, on television before. Today, I'm going to tell you a bit more about it. Today, we're talking about Sebastian Vettel's press relations manager, Britta Ruska. But what exactly does a press relations manager do? She's the go-between between between the media and Sebastian. She handles all of that side of his business. She's been with him for more than a decade. Here she is in the paddock with him in Brazil recently. She was born in Essen, West Germany. She studied economics, modern languages and journalism in Leipzig. And then she moved to France for a year. She landed a traineeship role at Renault, working in the communications department. And then she met this man, Flavio Briatore. She met him at an event at the Nürburgring, and he invited her to move to Enstone in the UK to work with the Renault Formula One team. She did this readily, she admits, and it was the best decision she ever made. She then, in 2005, joined Red Bull Racing and was part of the team working with Sebastian. Here she is with Helmut Marko. But she still gets on well with the Red Bull people that she worked with back in those years. Here's Gerard from the garage, Nigel Hope she's good friends with, and who isn't? Nigel's a tremendous fella. It's fair to say she shies away from publicity. A little bit tricky to shoot, although occasionally I do get a smile out of her, which I relish. Here she is smiling at me while Sebastian's having a giggle at her coming down the stairs at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix earlier this year. Here she is coming into the paddock at the Monaco GP with a wry smile on her face. But earlier in that event, I managed to get her to convince her cohort, Mia Jasic, who's the press officer for Charles Leclerc, to pose for a two shot. Initially, Mia wasn't that keen, but Britta managed to pull it off. The thing about Britta is she's employed by Sebastian directly, and I'm pretty sure that he is the only driver to employ his PR person directly. If you look at these PR people from a couple of years ago, I've had a look through them, and she is the only one that's employed directly by a driver. Now, that's not the first time that's happened because Michael Schumacher employed his PR person directly. This is Sabine Kem here, and she was his direct employee. So it's not a first, it's been done in the past, but certainly it is rare. Normally, the press relations people, the press officers, are appointed by the teams, and whoever is driving gets a particular press officer from the team. She spends most of her day on her telephone, either with it up to her ear, talking to people, arranging sometimes up to eight interviews a day, particularly on a Thursday media day. She will get hundreds of emails a day from people wanting to have access to a four-time world champion. She has no social media accounts, just like her boss, Sebastian. Sometimes her role takes her up into the grandstands, up into the crowds, as was the case in 2017, when she was with Sebastian at the Japanese Grand Prix. The crowds were going crazy. She had to act somewhat as crowd control. Is she popular on social media? You bet. I put this particular photo up on my account last year after the Mexican Grand Prix, and I thought, oh, it might do okay. Turned out to be my biggest post at the time. So she has a number of fans. Uh, Going back to the Brazil Grand Prix, I saw her with this in her hand. It was a little doll. It was given to her by these ladies, the Vettels, a marvelous group of young women who roll up at various events in these t-shirts. So If you have a look closely, there's a piece of sticky tape over her mouth. And when she gave me this to take a photo, I took the shot and gave it back. Then she came racing back and said, oh, hang on a second. Mia Jasic has gone and put that sticky tape over her mouth as a joke. So she said, I'll take it off. Well, of course, off came the mouth as well. So these are the shots I ended up with. But this image is interesting. I shot this at the Japanese Grand Prix last year. And as you can see, it's a cutout of uh, Britta. And behind me, I got my own version. However, if you look closely, The artist, who is Akio Koketsu, spelt her name wrong, but certainly on mine, it's spelt correctly. Seb doesn't have a manager, which I think is unusual. From my recollection, most of the other drivers have a manager. So she's the go-to woman for a lot of uh, Sebastian's fans, like Dunker here, who made a great cake in the shape of his helmet, contacted her at the British GP. She arranged for the two of them to meet up, and there's the resultant photo. But if you're a media organisation, you're almost always going to have to go through Britta to get to Seb. And it's Britta's job to work out who gets how much access to her four-time world champion driver. Whenever you see Sebastian in a Formula One press conference, you can be guaranteed that Britta will be in the room somewhere. And if she's not listening, she's almost certainly on her phone arranging future interviews for later in the day on probably WhatsApp. 
down in the media pen, she's always standing by his side, always holding a dictaphone recording every word he says. Out the back of the garage when they do their end of day sessions, once again, she's standing next to Sebastian and she is actually looking at all the journalists around, working out which journalist is going to get the next interview and she will indicate to that particular reporter, hey, you're next. Even though she's directly employed by Sebastian, she's still part of the Ferrari team. So she has to work closely with Mia and Sylvia, who's the head of communications for Ferrari. It's fair to say that she's the queen of PR when it comes to Formula One, respected by everyone. She's a vital member of Team Vettel, along with Anti Consas, his trainer here on the right. The three of them will often be seen out the back of the FIA garage. In these times, she'll give him a quick brief about what's likely to come up because remember, he's been out on track and she's probably had a number of inquiries from different journalists about things that they need to discuss. So she'll give him a quick briefing, they'll have a chat and then bang, he'll be out with the media answering questions. She gets on well with Rosa from Mercedes-Benz and I got this lovely series of shots in Mexico last year. I quite like it because it shows a personal side, a, a good natured side. And one of the greatest photos I think I put up last year was this shot in Singapore where she and Rosa had a big hug after Lewis beat Seb in the Singapore GP. And given that Sebastian doesn't have a manager, she is very much, I think, a sounding board for him. And she's admitted in previous interviews, which are very hard to find. In fact, I only found two TV interviews and I think two press interviews with Britta over the past 10 years. Her job is to support him, getting him up when things aren't going well and looking after his image, his brand. She's constantly in demand and she'll admit openly that there is very little rest for her over a race weekend. Certainly there's hardly any time to eat. And when I want to talk to her, Pretty much, you've got to walk and talk because she has many things to get done during a day and she won't be standing around too often. So what's it like working for someone who's constantly on the road, constantly in demand? Well, she openly admits that uh, for a couple of hundred days a year, she is on the road. She's away from home. She doesn't even unpack her suitcase in her home sometimes because she's only there for perhaps three or four days at a time during the season. She's always on call, like any PR person. She's got to be there when things flare up. It's a juggling act, I'm sure, to keep the media happy and Seb. After all, he's a driver and he needs to keep his focus. Of course, when things go wrong in Formula One, that's when a PR person has to step in and really earn their keep. And there's no greater example of that than back in Malaysia in 2013, when Sebastian overtook Mark Webber against team orders to win the race. And then a PR manager like Britta has to go into overdrive, which she did. And over time, his image was restored. But as hard as the hard times are, the good times can be extremely rewarding. And if you hark back to when Seb won his first world championship in 2010, she was four days traveling around the world with him and she admits she had hardly any real sleep. But it was a great time for her to celebrate with her boss the fact that he'd won his first world championship. Of course, he went on to win three more after that. Britta Ruska, she's the benchmark in F1 PR. She enjoys a marvelous relationship with Sebastian Vettel and she's a mighty nice person. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future YouTube videos. I love your comments, please put them below. You can own any of my images by heading to ProStarPics.com, my blogs and podcasts at KimElman.com, and pictures live from the track on Instagram at KimElman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.